In this quick tutorial, we will look at an application problem where we compute the arc length of a sector. A sector is a cutout of a circle stemming from the circle's center. The question reads, two gears are connected so that the smaller gear turns the larger gear. When the smaller gear with a radius of 3.6 centimeters rotates 300 degrees, how many degrees will the larger gear with a radius of 7.5 centimeters rotate. Take a look at the illustration right underneath. This is exactly what's happening. This small one is turning in this direction and in turn is causing this gear to move. What we want to do is find out how much this gear is moving using the formula underneath, where the length of a sector is related to the central angle by dividing by the radius of the circle and that in turn gives you the angle. So we've been told already what the radius is. The radius of the smaller circle is 3.6. I'll call that R1. And we've been told that it rotated 300 degrees. For this formula to work, we need to convert that angle into radians. So we need to make 300 degrees into radians. And the conversion ratio is for every pi radians, that equals 180 degrees. So this unit and this unit cancels out, giving us what the answer is in radians. Let's use our calculator really quickly. 300 divided by 180, that gives us 5 over 3 pi. So theta is equal to 5 over 3 pi radians. Using these two values, we can now find s, which is the length that is covered by this many degrees and at that radius. So the formula was pi s over r. We need to isolate for s by multiplying both sides by r. r happens to be 3.6 centimeters. Multiply to this value, 5 over 3 pi radians. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. We have 3.6 times 5 over 3. That's equal to 6 pi. That's our value for s. Once again, we will use this formula. And given that s happened to be 6 pi, that's actually shared amongst both gears because they're connected. So this will also be the s value for gear 2, the larger one. And the larger gear had a radius, according to the illustration, of 7.5. Remember what they're asking. They are asking for how many degrees will the larger gear with a radius of 7.5 rotate? So the formula again was theta is equal to s over r. This is shared, as mentioned. That's going to go there. And by dividing these two numbers out, we will end up with theta, which is in radians. And then we can convert that back into degrees. 6 times pi. Now we have 6 pi on our screen divided by 7.5. And that is 4 over 5 pi. So theta is 4 over 5 pi radians. And in case you're confused, remember the units for this were centimeters times radians. Even though I never really wrote them, they were there. Centimeters times radians. And the units for the radius of the larger gear was centimeters. As you can see, the centimeters unit cancels out, leaving us only with radians. To convert this back into degrees, we multiply this by the same conversion ratio as before, but this time I'll put pi radians underneath and 180 degrees at the top. The units now will cancel out, and using our calculator, we have 4 times 180 divided by 5 is 144. Even the pi cancels out. So 144 degrees is the amount that will be rotated for the larger gear.